Did you know that you can make a metro object which starts and stops with the transport? Here's how you do it. I'd like to talk about the difference between these two metro objects. On the left here, we have an eighth note metro with the auto start and auto start time attributes set. This metro is set up to start running the first time the transport goes past the location set by the auto start time attribute. In this case, the metro is set up to start running when the transport passes zero ticks, which is the start of the transport. This metro object here is an eighth note metro with its active attribute switched on. What this means is that the metro is active and it will just start and stop whenever the transport starts and stops, wherever it's located. If you just want a metro which starts and stops with the transport, you're usually going to be better off using the active attribute. In this patch, the transport gets located at the end of the 40th beat when the patch loads. So when I turn the transport on, the metro on the left doesn't start because we haven't gone past zero in the transport yet. The only way to get the metro on the left to start is to force the transport to go past location zero. The metro object works this way in both Max and in Max for Live. So if this code were running in a Max for Live device, I would have to rewind the live transport in order to get the metro on the left to start running. Happy patching!